Dave Nombrowski has just put the Detroit Tigers in last place. David Price. And they start a series tonight with the Baltimore Orioles. The Cleveland Indians head to the West Coast. They take on Steve Paparaki and the Oakland A's. Mud Hens have a day off today. So what are we going to do with that time frame that we're going to talk about that? Oh, that's right! The Mid-American Conference preseason! We'll talk about that today. As well as the NHL. Got a fresh line in me today. Shaved. Clean shaved. And haircut is nice and low. Because after all, cutting corners is not what I like to do on this program. The entertainment value is number one. So stick with us on a throwback Thursday edition of All Andy Alpha right here on your exclusive home for me. Production. Clay fan. Two. Three. And throwback Thursday. You're liking throwback Thursday. Let's go back to an old theme song of mine. To your computer and from the World Wide Web. We're all over the internet. This is all Andy Alfred on Clay Fan 2 3. <laughs> <laughs> it's because Dave Dombrowski. I love this old theme song. When are they going to get their heads out of their asses? Let's play baseball, for God's sakes. Look out for the jackets, like I always say. Look out for the jackets. Didn't they prove me right? Why do they always disappoint me? Formally. In East Toledo. This is all Andy Alfred on Clayfan 2-3. Now, here's your host, Andrew Alfred. Thank you. Thank you, Andy. Well, let's go over to the White Sox for Nick. White Sox. White Sox. Go, go, White Sox. Let's go, 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 White Sox. We're with you all the way. They're always in their fight again. up on the Red on a hot roll just like in Golden Corral land. I think I may, may have messed that line up, but okay. They're, they're as hot as a roll at the Golden Corral with some butter on it. That's better. So Marja, the whole crew getting their act together and surpassing the Tigers and the Indians. They be going for Kansas City next. Possibility. White Sox, White Sox, go, go, White Sox. Run, 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 White Sox. We cheer you on to victory. When we're in the stands, we'll make those Raptors ring. All through the season, you will hear us sing. Let's go, 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 White Sox. Chicago's proud of you. For Nick Aprizé. Oh, we are proud for the White Sox, of course. As as Bowling Green's music is going to be playing here momentarily as we talk about the Mid American Conference, and we're going to preview tonight's games for the Tigers and the Indians. 
break down also the NBA, the NHL free agency, and so much more on this All Andy Alford, the 30th of July, 2015. And I love you guys, and welcome into the program. And from the beautiful Man Cave Studios in East Toledo, Ohio, I am Andy Alford, coming to you. On this day, it is a great day uh, if you are a Blue Jays fan. As you're aware, David Price has been traded by the Detroit Tigers today to the to the Toronto Blue Jays. Blue Jays winning the prize, lefty. Uh, the David Price goes in a, from Detroit to Toronto in exchange for left-handed prospect Daniel Norris. Matt Boyd and Yaro Labont. Uh, Daniel Norris pitched against the Mud Hens. Got a chance to see a little bit of him. Solid pitcher, very very solid pitcher, and it'll be interesting to see how he's going to perform going forward. Uh, but David Price uh, uh, on Twitter saying, "My niece is already ready. She was wearing a Blue Jays hat, and he hashtag Tigers. Thank you for everything." Hashtag Blue Jays, let's ride. Entire country rooting for us. Hashtag wow. So he now comes into the media staff of R.A. Dickey, Mark Burley, Marco Estrada, and Drew Hutcherson. That rotation is going to be fantastic for the, for the, for the uh, Blue Jays. There was also another trade happening today. Hey, what's your favorite kind of moss? Mine's Brandon, and he plays for the St. Louis Cardinals now. Yes, Brandon Moss, formerly of the Cleveland Indians, has been traded by the Cleveland Indians to the St. Louis Cardinals. Players have not yet been named of who what the trade is going to be, but Brandon Moss has been officially traded by the Cleveland Indians today on this one day before the trade deadline. By the way, tomorrow, remember, from 1.30 until 3.30, live here on All Andy Alford, we will have you wall-to-wall -wall coverage of the trade deadline special, a two-hour edition of the program, as we're going to be here live in the Man Cave Studios. You'll have the you'll have the audio in the background of MLB Network. We will give you first-hand accounts what is happening. Also, the Twitter page will be open as well, too. It is going to be a busy trade deadline day tomorrow, but a lot of the big names have been announced as traded as well too today. Of course, one big one also, Cole Hamels being traded today. He is now going to the Texas Rangers in exchange from the Philadelphia Phillies for the for the Phils in exchange for Cole Hamels' uh, release. It will club will also acquire Dinkelman, Texas sending prospects Harrison to Philadelphia. So Cole Hamels and reliever Jake Dickman from Philadelphia has been traded on Thursday. In exchange, the Rangers will send pitchers Matt Harrison and five prospects to the Phillies. Catcher Jorge Alfondo, outfielder Nick Williams, and pitcher Jake Thompson, Alec Archer, and Jared Eckroff. So Cole Hamels is another big name pitcher going out. Um... I want to make mention of this too. Last night in the game between the Padres and the Sam and the New York Mets, the kid by the name of Flores was coming into the game, and he was. They were announcing that he was going to be in a trade. He finds out during the game that he was going to be traded, and he balls out on the field. I swear he was crying. Tom Hanks says it best. In a league of their own. There's no crying. There's no crying in baseball. Even though he was with the team for six, since he was 16 years old. And the Mets are finally getting better. They gotta, they're going to trade him. But he was not traded at all. Not traded whatsoever. Unbelievable. Uh, uh, so, of course, like I mentioned, David Price, the big trade talk today. Cole Hamill's also the big trade piece today for the major leagues. Let's talk about a little bit about what happened last night around the major leagues. Of course, if you watched the program yesterday, we recapped the Tigers and the Indians. So let's talk a little bit about what else happened around the major leagues. Atlanta was a loser to Baltimore 2 to nothing. Philadelphia 
loses to Toronto 8-2. The White Sox getting a four-game sweep of the Boston Red Sox 9-2. The Padres a 7-3 victory over the New York Mets. 7-2 was the score as the Marlins lose to the Washington Nationals. The Texas Rangers a 5-2 win over the, over the New York Yankees. The Houston Astros a 6-3 winner over the LA Angels of Anaheim. 1-0 was the final as the Red Lakes beat the St. Louis Cardinals. And the Dodgers lose to win over the Oakland Athletics 10 to seven. So looking at games going forward into tonight's game for looking forward into tonight's games, we had one day game, excuse me, two day games. Washington a one nothing victory over the Miami Marlins. Scherzer gets the win. He goes to eleven and eight with a two point two two ERA. Jonathan Papelbon coming in from the trade deadline, getting his first save with the Washington Nationals, his sixth eighteenth of the season. It has just gone final at City Field after a long rain delay. The Padres were a winner 8-7 to today over the New York Mets. And here is the rest of the schedule for tonight. Atlanta is in Philadelphia. That's Miller versus Harang. Kansas City is in Toronto. That's Duffy versus Estrada. Chicago taking on Boston in the final game of this series against the Red Sox tonight. 7-10 start time for that one. They could go for the sweep tonight. Could they do it? Could they pull a 4-2, four, 4 game Sweeps. Can they do it? I think they can. I really think they can. Pittsburgh will take on Saint, uh, call, uh, excuse me, Cincinnati tonight. That's Burnett versus Holmbrook. 7-15 sees the Cardinals taking on the Colorado Rockies. At 8-05, it will be the New York Yankees taking on the Texas Rangers. The Cubbies are up in Milwaukee tonight. 8-10 start time for that one. The Angels of Anaheim taking on Houston. Shoemaker versus Casimir, 8-10, Minnesota taking on Seattle, and so forth. But the Tigers tonight will take on the Baltimore Orioles in a four-game series starting tonight at Camden Yards. Just myself here in the chair. Of course, I have to do this because it is the Baltimore Orioles. This is for the Orioles fans out there. I know you like this song. This goes out to you guys as I preview this series. Game one of the series will have Alfredo Simon on the bump for the Detroit Tigers. He's 9-6 with a 4.46 ERA. He'll take on Gonzalez, who is 9-6 with a 3.99 ERA. 7.05 start time for that one on Fox Sports Detroit and on Messon. 7.05 tomorrow, the Buck Farmer 0-2 with a 9.22 ERA versus Bruce Chen. Who is five and six with a 2.88 ERA? 7:05 start time for that one on Saturday. There'll be a 7:05 start time for that one. Detroit has not yet named the starter who was supposed to be David Price. Guzman will start for Baltimore, who's one and two with a 4.20 ERA. And in the concluding game on Sunday sees the Tigers throwing out on the bump the one named, not yet named. It'll be Hobaldo Jimenez starting for Detroit. At 1 up 30 for Baltimore. He's 8 and 6 with a 3.73 ERA. 135 on that start for Sunday afternoon. That's the Tigers take on the Baltimore Orioles. Yep, we'll see you at the park, of course, at Camden Yards. It's welcome home from Baltimore Orioles. The first season, the theme music from Camden Yards, of course. I have to download that and play that song for you guys because it's the Baltimore Oreo theme song, in my opinion. Welcome home, of course, is the theme. Um, let's talk a little bit about the Tribe. The Tribe tonight will take on the Oakland Athletics at the Coliseum. And um, let's talk a little bit about the game tonight. On the mound for Cleveland will be Carlos Carrasco. He's 10 and 8 with a 4.26 ERA versus Bassett for Oakland, who's 0 and 3 with a 2.94 ERA. 10-10 start time for that one tonight. Uh, Friday it will be it will be uh, Danny Salazar for Cleveland. Oakland has not yet named a starter. Salazar 8 and 6 with a 3.72 ERA. That will be a 10:05 start time for that one. Saturday sees a game at happening at 9:05. It will be. Uh, Anderson on the hill, who is 2-2 two two with a 3.26 ERA, 9.05 start time for that one. And the concluding game on Sunday sees Indians throwing up on the bump Trevor Bauer, 8-8 eight eight with a 4.13 ERA. The Oakland Athletics have not yet named the starter 
for the this weekend series. They have named the starter for tonight, not for the weekend series. Could Oakland be making moves? Possibility. You can watch all the games on Fox Sports Time Ohio, or on Fox Sports out in Oakland as well. Looking at games happening around the major leagues, other games happening tonight in the major leagues, my apologies. Like I said, Atlanta's in Philadelphia, Kansas City in Toronto, and the White Sox taking on Boston, going for the sit, going for the sweep. Chris Sale, 9-5 with a 2.85 ERA. Looking at the standings going into tonight's play, this is what it looks like. The In first place is the Kansas City Royals in the American League Central. Kansas City right now is 61-39, and 39, holding the best record in all of the American League. Minnesota is in second place at 52-48, and 48, nine games out of first place. The White Sox are now at 49-50, and 50, 11 and a half games out, two and a half out of a wild card position. Detroit 49-52, and 52, 12 and a half games out, three and a half games out of first place. Three and a half place games out of a wild card position. Cleveland in last place at 46-54, and 54, 15 games out of first place, six games out of a wild card position. For Baltimore in this series, they are 51 and 49, six games out of first place, a game out of a wild card position. They have won their last five games. And this season at home, they're 30 and 18. Detroit on the road is 24 and 25. For the A's, the A's are in last place for the Cleveland Indians. They're 45 and 57, 12 games out of first place, eight games out of a wild card position. They've lost their last game. They're four and six. In their last 10 at home this season, they are 21 and 29. Can Cleveland get some momentum against this T A's team that cannot win at home this year? Possibility. American uh, National League Central, St. Louis still holding the best record in the National League Central at 64 and 37, the best record overall in baseball. Pittsburgh 59 and 41, four and a half games out of first place, three and a half games up in a wild card position. Looks like they're going to get this first wild card position. The Cubs are 53 and 47, 10 and a half games out of first place, two and a half out of a wild card. Cincinnati 45 and 54, 18 games out of first place, 10 games out of a wild card position, and Milwaukee at 44 and 58, 20 and a half games out of first place, 12 and a half out of a wild card position. So a big, big series going forward for the Cubbies tonight against Milwaukee to get back into the playoff hunt. So like I mentioned before. Uh, David Price traded today, and you know, you, you know it was going to come. Now the question is, who's next for Detroit? Detroit is a seller. Toronto, Detroit, Toronto, and Detroit are close in the in the wild card race. One team is buying, and another team is selling. It's plain and simple. Time to gut it out and restart everything. You're making a good move, Dave. A good move. Uh, but like I said, tomorrow on we'll have a special two-hour edition of all Andy Alford as we'll give you the MLB trade deadline right here on Clay Fan Two Three. We'll be a live edition starting at 1:30 till 3:30 in the afternoon. As the trade deadline ends at 3 o'clock, we'll be on the air until 3.30 to recap the trade deadline for you here. Um, let's talk a little bit about the Mud Hens. Of course, Mike Hassman hitting his way to history. 432 career home runs in all of the International League. He is tied with the most. He will try to go for the record tomorrow night. The, the Mud Hens are off tonight. They will take on Louisville starting on Friday. Looking at scores from around the International League today... Of course, and games are going to happen tonight. Here is the here's the schedule around the International League. A light schedule as of late. Uh, one game has gone. A couple games have gone final. Norfolk was a winner six to one this afternoon over the Pawtucket Red Sox, and the Clippers were a loser to the Indianapolis Indians two to one. Scranton Wilkesbury will take on Lehigh Valley. That's a 7:05 start time for that one. Charlotte is in Louisville tonight. It'll be Durbrick versus Finnegan. And at 7.05 would be Buffalo versus Syracuse, Redmond versus Jordan. If I was Larry Parrish and the Mudhen staff, if I'm in Louisville already, 
I take in the game tonight, take in the competition. And scout. And see what this team looks like. That's what we did when I was with uh, BGRSO. When we uh, we went to Notre Dame for a volleyball tournament. And I'll, t I'll share the story. Um, we got into Notre Dame really early in the afternoon. Uh, they had one game early on. It was Purdue versus uh, a Russian professional volleyball team. Women's volleyball team. And... Oh, we had uh, we had our lunch. We went and picked up the lunch. We got over to the stadium and we went and scout. We scouted the stadium out, scouted the team, the two teams together, and um, yeah, it was a it's a great time. I had a great time. Got to, to go to Notre Dame. It's one of the best best facilities, best people there to do uh, so with the media setting everything up so much more. Thank you for that so much. Um, let's take a look at the standings going into tonight's play around the International League. Um, Mudhens still in last place in the IL West at 45 and 60, 14 and a half games out of first place. Louisville at 51 and 55, nine games out of first place. Columbus in second place now at 59 and 47, the game out of first place with the Indianapolis Indians victory today. Indy now at 60 and 46. Norfolk still having the best record overall in the IL at 61 and 43. And looking at the rest of the starting rotation for the Mudhens starting on tomorrow night at Louisville Slugger Park. Here's the, what the rotation looks like. You know, Kyle Ryan will start for Toledo. He is 0 and 8 with a 4.86 ERA. He'll take on Roach for Louisville, who is 0 and 1 with a 5.91 ERA. 705 start time for that one. Saturday, both teams have not yet named starters. And on Sunday, both teams have not yet named starters for the quick three-game series before the Mudhens return home on Monday to take on the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs in the Eggs and Bacon Series. Yes, Eggs and Bacon Series. Pigs, Iron Pigs, Toledo Mudhens, Eggs and Bacon. Eggs and Bacon Series. Looking forward to that this week. Um... Like I mentioned before as well, too, on uh, the program, uh, we will be, we are in-depth analysis for all mud hen coverage here. And um, I, get, I get my sources in a, good, in a good taste as well, too, for the mud hens as well. So um, as you're watching all Andy Alford right here on your exclusive home for me, a production of Clay Fan 2 3. I'm your host, Andy Alford, coming to you from the Man Cave Studios. Um... Late news in the NHL today, Jakub Voracek signing a long-term extension with the Philadelphia Flyers. Jakub Voracek, the former Blue Jackets, signed a multi-year contract with the Flyers. The timetable has not been announced, but is, TSN is reporting eight years, $66 million. That is an average annual value of $8.25 million. Voracek, who is turning 26 on August 15th, set an NHL career high with 59 assists and 61 points this season to lead the Flyers. He had 22 goals. Were third. His 22 goals were third on the Flyers team. Looking at some signings today around the inter, around the NHL, it was uh, two signings to make to make mention here on the. It was uh, no real signings today. Uh, the 29th, uh, 28th was the last good signings with Eric Fuller from Washington to Pittsburgh and Seth Brusky going from re-upping with the Vancouver Canucks. ECH all news and notes to pass along to you, of course. Uh, defenseman, defenseman Gibson will be with the Quad City Mallards. He was named 2015 Division Three All-American First Team. He will be with the Quad City Mallards starting this year. Uh, Casey DeSmith will join the Wheeling Nailers following three seasons at the University of New Hampshire. And also Derek Johnson will sign, sign with the Reading Royals today as well. So now it is time to talk some action. As you have known, the Mid-American Conference had their media day yesterday. And the polls have spoken!
Bowling Green to finish number one in the Mid-American Conference Eastern Division. Woo! You don't play the game on paper. You never know what's going to happen. But of course, the Mid-American Conference media poll comes out and Bowling Green is picked to win the MAC East Division. Bowling Green coming off of a two-time defending East champion, Bowling Green State University Falcons. Were selected first with 160 points all together, followed by three teams separated by only five points. Ohio and Akron tied for second with 118 points, while UMass placed fourth with 113. Looking at the breakdown for this, Bowling Green was it's 160, Akron and Ohio at 118, UMass 113, Buffalo 70, Miami 47, and Kent State 46. So the Mid-American Conference and the media have spoken. Bowling Green gathering 18 first place points was en route to the favorite spot in the Eastern Division. Falcons returning 46 letter winners and 18 starters from last year's 8-6 and six team that won them the MAC East Division for the second consecutive year and won the inaugural Raycon Medium Chameleon Bowl over South Alabama 33-28. Second year coach Dino Babers will look, look for quarterback Matt Johnson to lead the Falcons coming off of a season missed by injury while running back Travis Green rushed for 949 yards and 12 scores and wide receiver Roger Lewis hauled a, a mind-bogglingly 73 receptions for 1,094 yards and 7 touchdowns on the other end of the spectrum we have the Mac West Champions have been announced. And, of course, it's the University of Toledo. By the slimmest of margins. Of course, the University of Toledo was selected first in the division in a narrow race by only one point by Western Michigan, and not only nine points separating the top three teams, including the five-time defending West champions, Northern Illinois Huskies. Toledo finishing with 121 votes, 11 first-place votes. Western Michigan with 120, finishing eight with first-place votes. Northern Illinois with four first-place votes, 113 votes overall. Ball State fourth with 66, Central Michigan with one first place vote at 56, Eastern Michigan with 28 votes all together. For Toledo in this game, ranking up 11 first place votes in the Western Division to prop the Rockets to be first place with 121 points. Points. Toledo welcomes back 46 letter winners and 17 starters from last year's team that went 9-4 and four overall, 7-1 in conference play. The Rockets shared the West title division title and went on to an impressive 63-44 win over Arkansas State in the GoDaddy.com Bowl. The Rocket offense will pay, will have, be paced by junior running back Kareem Hunt, who is with 1,631 yards and 16 touchdowns in only 10 games last season, while, while wide receiver Corey Jones with 842 yards and five touchdowns along with Alonzo Russell with 770 yards receiving and eight touchdowns providing the Rockets with threats at the skilled position and on the defensive end for the Rockets Toledo returning 10 stars included defensive tackle and Trent Voss who had 77 tackles last year 15 tackles for loss in 2014 and defensive tackle Trayvon Hester with 49 tackles and and 9.5 tackles for loss First season. The 2015 season kicks off on Thursday, September 3rd with four non-conference games and the championship Friday, December 4th at 8 o'clock at Fort Field in downtown Detroit. And do you want to know who they picked for this game? You want to know who they picked overall to win the Mid-American Conference Championship game? 
Go ahead. Play it. BG didn't get a single vote. this next week on All Andy Alford. And it'll be interesting to see what happens. Of course, finish it out. Oh, God in heavens. I don't want to hear that all fall long. We're only going to play that one time, I hope. One time. I don't want to play that crap again. I mean, I love the rivalry between Bowling Green and, and, and UT. Can I see that happening at Ford Field this year? We've heard this for so many years! Is it going to be the year? We'll talk about that. We'll talk about that going forward on All Andy Elford. As you're watching All Andy Elford right here on your exclusive home for me, a production of Clayfan23. I'm your host, Andy Elford. Of course, wrapping it up here as we're going to be on tomorrow's program, a two-hour special edition of All Andy Elford, starting at 1.30 tomorrow afternoon with the pregame with, uh, with the MLB trade deadline special. Uh, we're going to have a slew of coverage. Also, be the regular edition of All Andy Offer with the trade deadline show. So we'll preview the weekend that is in sports going forward, as well as talk a little bit about what's going to be happening in the trade deadline. A lot of players still named here. And uh, we just, this is breaking right now, as of right now. The Pittsburgh Pirates, according to MLB.com, Jason Beck, have acquired... Right-handed pitcher, Joaquim Soria from the Detroit Tigers. Boom! Blow up! Boom! Price is gone! Boom! Soria's gone! Boom! Cespedes is next! Boom! Kinsler's gone! Boom! Who saw it coming? And Indians have recalled infielder Lonnie Chisenhall from Columbus. Good to see Lonnie back in the tri uniform. So, the Tigers will get ready to start here momentarily against the Baltimore Orioles and the Indians taking on Oakland later tonight. That's going to wrap it up for all Andy Alford for today. I hope you enjoyed this program as much as I gave it to you. However you're watching us, wherever you're watching us, thank you for tuning in to today's program. I'll see you tomorrow for a live edition of all Andy Alford for right here on ClayFan23. And, as always, go Tigers! Blowing it up. Boom! Indians get the win tonight against Oakland. Let's go, Hens! Back in the winning page. And we are the fifth line. And is it October yet? And go, Falcons. I'm Andy Elford. I hope you have a terrific evening. And as always, I'm pulling for you. We're all in this together. Game of life. And to the teams behind me, your team that you've root for at home as well. Victory is sweetest when you have tasted defeat. Have a good night, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow for a live edition. All oh, Andy Alfred. Love you. Talk to you guys tomorrow. This is the right music.
Love you guys. Talk to you tomorrow. Love you, babe.